Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be going over the Road to Mythic event. I did like, I did take a little quick look at this on my stream last night and it was pretty crazy to go over this after going over the actual conquest update itself. I was out of it. I was out of it. Trying to compute what was in the Road to Mythic event was pretty difficult. It has dropped in game already. It is fairly straightforward, but some people may not realize why it's coming into the game. And basically, it is coming into the game to allow you to level up your characters, mainly your S class characters, to get them into a position where you're going to get Mythics day one when the Conquest update drops. If you want to know more about the Conquest update itself, I did a very long stream. It is broken down in that stream for the first like hour and a half to two hours where I go through everything that is coming in the update. But first we have Road to Mythic, and this is gonna last six weeks. For each day, we're gonna have a different daily roadmap with different characters we can use. The first day is Alert, that's today. And as you can see, Monday, week one, we can take Alert characters in. Then day two, we can take Fast characters in, Tough, Strong. And this is basically just rotating your roster around. On the Sunday, we can take two different traits in, just against the roadmap. And I'm guessing the traits we're gonna come up against are going to be Tough and Fast, most likely, in terms of like, doing trait damage against us and being pretty lethal it's always going to be against the trait that you're weak to so the first one is against tough characters as alert then the fast one's probably going to against be against strong and so on and so forth this is going to last the full six weeks as you can see and that's a lot of daily roadmaps six times seven quick maths is 30, 42 42 42 we got there we got that we got there 42 so as you can see we're going to be able to get 42 times these mythic tokens and you can get 10 from completing the entire like six stages of the act so we're going to be able to get 420 420 no, no, not even making this up we're going to be able to get 420 for completing everything on the daily roadmaps now there will be themed mission events as well and those will go from week to week the first week is alert tough then strong fast so on and so forth what you need to know here is how the missions work and the easiest place to see these missions are, of course, in-game as they are live. You can see there are two. There's the main one, the Road to Mythic event. We'll look at that in a second. But there is the Road to Mythic trait missions, which are the weekly missions. They're going to be six separate ones, and it is going to be based on that weekly trait. The first week is Alert and Tough, as you can see at the top. Road to Mythic, level up one Alert or Tough S-Class. If you complete all three of the missions, you get this gold S-Class card and we'll see the three missions they're pretty easy you level up characters 90 levels that are alert or tough as s class characters and you get one of these tokens you claim this token first after you claim this token this next mission will unlock and you'll be able to ascend a character to tier two that's the next requirement is to ascend a character to tier two again it has to be an alert or tough s class character you come back in here you claim it again it will unlock the next mission which is to level up characters 110 times and you'll be able to get that third claim. It has obviously been pointed out the fact that you can't actually level up a character from level one to 90 and get 90 level ups because that's actually 89 level ups. So you're going to have to level up a character on the side as well. I don't believe you have to level up a character that is tier one or tier two. So you could level up like a tier three that one time if you have got a tier three tough character and get that extra level that way. Now, during the week, you have to do this a grand total of three times. Exactly the same thing, three times. Each time you do it, you get increased rewards. The first time round you do it, you get one of these RTM tokens each mission, and then you get one of these gold S-Class cards. And then the next time round, you get three RTM tokens each time, and then a gold S-Class card. And the last time, you get five of these each time, and then a gold S-Class card. So it's definitely worth doing it every single time. You have to have the amount of characters, obviously, to get this done. So you need a grand total of three S-Class tough or alert characters that you can even tier two to complete this. That might be difficult for some people. So if you don't feel you're going to be able to finish it this week, it's better off holding off until future weeks because the last mission completion is obviously the most beneficial one because it gives you so much more rewards. Now, there is that extra mission on top, which lasts the entirety of the event. And it does give you extra rewards for collecting the S-Class gold cards. You collect one, you get 30 Road to Mythic tokens. Two, you get 45. Three, you get 25 bennings, but you also get one Mythic gem. 
and then it just keeps on going up. A grand total of, I believe, five Mythic Gems are available. Lots of Mythic Tokens as well. Lots of Trainers, lots of gear. So lots of stuff to help you progress, but also these Mythic Gems on top. And as it says here, the event will also allow you to chance to earn Mythic Gems up to five, which you'll be able to redeem during the event for rewards once our Conquest update goes live. So this is going to give you direct boost in the conquest update it doesn't say what those rewards are going to be but i just see it as like a little cherry on top a little bonus and all the rewards we actually know what they're going to be bringing it already good now there are obviously some things you can get with the road to mythic tokens and they'll be based on the themed character pools as you can see these are the weekly pools week one week two week three you can see the characters for each pool it goes on quite a bit because it covers two traits then we have week four week five and week six as again can see all the characters that are in these pools and these are the characters you can get with those tokens that week and there are two ways you can spend these tokens the first is going to be the road to mythic wheel here where you'll get lots of s class cards to be able to give yourself a better chance of getting more characters to tier 2 level 110 that is what you're trying to do because of the conquest update does reward you for every s class that you have at tier 2 level 110 and that's why the, the event's doing it as well it's trying to get you to tier 2 level 110 it is an exact even breakdown on the cards in terms of where they're going to fall so if you don't have many characters this could be a good way to go but if you want to specifically get one particular character out of here you can do that in the gray market however if you do go via the gray market it will be a little bit more expensive nearly twice as much to get the 200 cards of the character but at least it's of your choice you can get up to i believe a thousand cards per day as you can see this resets every day and it should be a new set tomorrow basically the new set will come out there should be more skill cards the new set will come out new axle cards and mining cards so on and so forth so if you want to focus on one particular character you can do for instance argus comes up twice and he is one of the more recent characters to be released in the game so it is kind of expected that he's going to give more of a reward once the conquest update actually drops because the more recent a character is the better exchange you're going to get once the conquest update drops in terms of getting some extra mythic tokens in the museum and getting some extra mythic characters out of it again if you're still unsure of how this all works go check out the conquest update it is very extensive but it gives you all the information you need so it's pretty simple nothing too hard here do the daily roadmap that you can see here i have done this on both my regions this is in the test region just to show you it's really straightforward to do you can only take alert characters on this complete to complete this one tomorrow's i believe is fast and it's going to change the traits every single day and just make sure you focus on completing the first of these missions you know the, the weekly ones concentrate on the weekly ones this one should naturally complete as you complete the weekly missions because it's about getting the s-class cards so you'll naturally complete these and you'll be able to get these gems which look suspiciously like like eggs just really shiny eggs but <laughs> you'll be able to get these gems as you progress through this as well and we'll find out later what the gems are going to be used for hopefully something nice so that's a quick look over the road to mythic event what you need to do to basically get everything you can get out of it just finish off any of the s-class collections that you have on the way if you're like 95 percent of the way to s-class cali you want to be able to pick up those extra 500 cards definitely the thing to do get her as an s-class character get her to tier 2 level 110 and you will be rewarded once the new update drops if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments down below or ask them on my discord that is the end of my video i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving